Hey guys, this is Prasad. Hope you're doing good. Today we are going to learn about the basic smoke simulation. This tutorial is completely for the beginners. So let's get started. This is my YouTube channel. You can search by Lila VFX School in YouTube. You can find uh, many videos uh, related to Houdini, Nuke, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, etc. So you can find my videos and please do watch. Today we are going to learn about basic uh, smoke simulation. I already have done this smoke simulation. So now I will show you how we can do this. So disable that old geometry. I'm taking a new geometry. Dive inside. And next take a spear node okay so now we got spear now we need points so i will take points from volume See, we are getting more points. You can play with point separation. I will make it 0 0.1. And you can play with the jitter scale also. Actually, I need animation points. I will type some expression $f into dollar f into 15 now you can see the points are moving next i will take pyrosaurus connect it to point from volume then i will take attribute randomize node You can connect it to pyrosaurs actually we are typing entire name here so to avoid that we can type we can simply type a space r now we can get attribute randomized node here okay take this okay i will i will remove the cd and i will type here density actually we need density and temperature to produce a smoke so I will type density here and the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 1. So again copy this node and paste here and connect it to density. Now I will type here temperature. Okay. So minimum value is 0 and maximum value I will increase for temperature. Make it 2. Now I need volume rasterize attribute. So I will call density and temperature here. Here we can play with voxel size. Okay, I will keep it 0 0.1, and you can play with uh, scale also. So I will keep it 0 0.5. Next, I will take a dot network. Connect it to first input dive inside now we need a smoke object i will take smoke object and we need smoke solver then we need volume source okay connect it properly 
if you see here nothing is there uh, we we have only empty box so for that i will go to volume source the initialize should be source smoke and make input first context geometry you can see plus symbol here click on that call density here i will type density here in source volume and same as in target field also again i'm clicking on that plus symbol i will take temperature also in source volume and target field also you can type temperature now you can see we are getting some small simulation here actually the box is very small so i will increase that go to smoke object here you can adjust the size i will take 8 20 8 and 5 here now you can go to first frame and check now you can see the smoke emitting If you observe here the resolution of smoke is very less so I will increase the resolution I will increase I will update division size as 0 0.05 now you can check actually it is taking some time so if you are facing uh, this kind of issue you can go to smoke solver and advanced can enable use open seal now if you enable this uh, we are getting a speed simulation uh, uh, if you see here the blue line is moving if you are facing this kind of issue you can go to dot net catch a you can increase catch memory i will change the temperature diffusion as 0 0.1 now you can check the smoke is rising I will I will take gas resize fuel dynamics node I will connect it to second input okay I will go to max bounds uh, make it manual okay actually we have to set this uh, size and center so i will match with smoke object go to smoke object copy parameters and paste relative reference again center also copy parameters paste relative reference once play and check if you observe here um, the shape of the smoke is uh, completely smooth so i will change the shape of the smoke for that i will take gas disturb okay go to first frame and check again yes you can see the shape of the smoke is changing now but the problem is strength is very high so I will adjust strength value now I will keep it 7 now once play and check so everything is fine now If I go outside, nothing is visible here. For that, I will take DOP IO. Click and drag the DOP network here. 
and also here and take smoke object choose preset as smoke and here we have density velocity temperature rest we don't want rest and color you can remove them next hit the play button and check the smoke so we are getting this kind of uh, smoke now actually i already took the point light before you can adjust the light intensity here and you can adjust light intensity here also this is the smoke we are getting so this is ok for me if you want to uh, more density smoke you can adjust the density in smoke object can adjust here if you want more density you can put more value if you want less density you can put less value i will make it one if you see here the smoke is uh, emitting continuously actually so if you don't want a uh, continuous emitting you can go to volume source you can play with this scale go to 20th frame keep the one value here make a keyframe by using alt and left mouse button and go to 30th frame make it 0 and here also 0 again make keyframe by using alt and left mouse button once play and check see uh, now the emitting is stopped at 30th frame ok so come outside if you play here you can see the more so i will end this session here so hope you like this video please like and share for more videos subscribe my channel thanks for watching